G'day guys, welcome back. Welcome to Pouring Your Heart Out. I am continuing on my quest to find um, a resin that I can use in Australia for the uh, daisy flower from Resin Courses that Micah created. So I'm just going to go with all the same colours. Um, this one this one was octopus fluids um, and then the promarine and this one is um, Holbein. One, two, three, four, five, and let's just try five. Let's just try five. That's the Holbein magenta, quinacridone magenta. So I'm just after like a, a pink and a yellow and obviously they make orange together. So nice sort of apricot, peachy, pinky tones. All right, I'll go with that. That's five. I've got a little bit less in this one, not by much. One, two, three, four, five, six. Hansa yellow. The um, the yellow isn't as strong as some of the other colours, so I always oops, should use that end. <laughs> uh, um, yeah, I always find I have to add a little bit of extra yellow so you can if you want just have the same amount and use one color but I'm just splitting them and I'll do like little puddle pours just to get the same effect because I want to do the same resin well not different resin but same colors um, and just see what we get now I've got my bloom in here it's it's almost opaque if you tip it right over you can sort of see the edge of the stick but it's almost opaque and I'm going to put one drop in here as well. This is going to be my my bush. One little drop in there. And I'm going to add some interference gold. I won't tip it from the bottle this time. A little bit of interference gold. It's not like mica powder where it all sinks to the bottom. That's it there by Let's Resin. I will link Let's Resin's. Uh, different websites with coupon code down below for you. You can, if you go into any of those websites, um, the links that I've given you, and use my code, you'll get a 10% discount. So yeah, it's uh, it's not heavy like a mica powder. It just sort of stays, it floats more. It stays suspended. So it's it's a good thing to use. Uh, I'm going to use one of my little pre-made discs here. Got a whole heap of them. I've made with leftover resin. I have got my mold sitting up on a trivet. Uh, it says on the bottle that the resin is or has a, a pot life of one hour, but that's at fifth, uh, five mil, five millimeters, and you know I'm going to be pouring it at about fifteen millimeters, so it's going to cure faster. So let's get our little puddles going. Some pink and some yellow. Back to pink and yellow. Your first puddles can be bigger because you know they have to go further, they've got to go right out to the edge of the mold. And then the subsequent little puddles can be a little bit smaller, I think, but totally up to you. So yeah, just doing three puddles of each colour. Um, and yeah, I didn't want my colours to be too, too dark. More of a sort of a pretty feminine, springy type colour scheme. We'll finish with the yellow. So, clean that stick. <laughs> Use my sticks again. All right. Quick little torch. Don't torch too much. You'll burn your mold and then your resin will be fused to it and you have to throw your mold out. So, don't do that. Right, here goes the white. Put that in. I don't think it really matters how you get it in, just get it in. I'm not pouring it too forcefully, I guess. 
it's kind of more sitting on top. Sometimes I pour it really hard and it hits the bottom and pushes out to the edge. So we'll see how it goes with pouring a little bit more gently. Gently, bently. I don't think it makes any difference at all, really. And then with the push, I'm going to try that and do it a little bit gently as well. Just to see if I can keep the, the white sort of more in the middle rather than having it all pushed too much to the edges because it's not coming back in. You know how normally you... Because the resin is thick. So when you push your resin in, it all goes out to the outside and then pulls back in. But because it's such a thick resin, it's not really pulling in all that well. And by the time it thinks about doing that, it's already cured in the middle because the resin is... Yeah, it's a thick resin. Um, it doesn't really like being poured too thick, uh, too deep, so it's curing, it's curing fast. It's curing fast. Um, just pop that under there. Come over this way a bit, resin. Go this way a bit. Fill in all these little, little nooks and crannies on this side. This is the large, chunky live edge mold. So I'm just, just helping it get into all these little crevices. Because they're all different heights and, you know, crystally look. They're <laughs> not just the same. They're not just the same height. All right. Another little torch. Now, as usual, I will put you on a time lapse. And uh, we'll see what this one does, hey? All right, it has cured. It's got a little bit of a, a dip in the middle where this section here has cured faster. It's kind of shrunk more. Might have pushed everything off to the side but I think it's done. It's been in the curing machine. So let's see if I can get it out. It's still going to be really soft on the sides but I'm really keen to see if this resin will work for me. It's kind of a little bit puffy like all the way through. It hasn't got like a traditional puffy edge although it might have changed because it's cured faster in the center. I don't know. But we'll see if the um, art coat has worked. I'll link this mold for you down in the description if you're interested in getting the chunky live edge mold. All right. Loving the colors. <laughs> oh, here we go. Let's see if it's worked. Oh, <laughs> it's very pink. Oh my gosh, it's very pink. All right, so hasn't, I can't say it hasn't worked. We've got the smaller, we've got some like bigger petals there and then they go into these little teensy wincy ones, the little teeny weeny ones, like those, but still got a big, big blob in the center there. So not loving that too much. It's telling me, I can hear it talking to me, it's saying, Julie, I'm too thin still. This resin um, must have been a bit too thin still because the size of the petals that like, they've kept moving instead of dropping straight down. So they've gone like elongated because they've moved rather than dropped straight down. So that's a um, telltale sign that the resin is a bit too thin still. So we'll try again. Um, I'll take a photo shortly for you. I have to go out now. All right, so here it is. Um, it's the next day and I went and looked in my little drawer and I found some stickers. I just got these from Amazon. This one is red, sort of reddish, orange. There's a bit of purple in there, tones, um, butterflies. Roses. So that's 
that's the one that I've chosen anyway. But yeah, I mean, you could, there's, there's butterflies, you know, that looks pretty as well. But I'm doing a little flower in a flower series, <laughs> apparently. Um, and I've got different colours. That's the, that's the purple tone one. I've got all different colours. So anyway, this is the one I've chosen because it's quite a big area there to, to close up. And look, you don't have to. You can leave it like that. I personally just, I don't like all this white blobbiness and the asymmetrical um, of it all. So I like things to be balanced. So I'm going to just pop my little sticker on there, my little roses. But of course you don't have to. You could just leave it totally up to you whatever you want to do like so there we go and I just I just like it <laughs> I do so I think this concludes my series in this particular color scheme um, I've done this one didn't do a video on that particular one it was just a little test uh, but there's that one We zoom you back out so that you can see them all. Um, and then there was this one. Uh, that was the that was octopus fluids. That was octopus fluids. And then that one was the Holbein inks. And that one was the Holbein inks. So they they are more bright. The whole bind they certainly are sort of brighter although these were sweet cherry which is the red and then when you add the white you get it's just a toned down whereas with the magenta when you add white it still stays quite quite pink so that's them there all right hope you've enjoyed my little my little series in this color trying to figure out what um what resin works uh, the best. Um, moving on to a different colour scheme. And of course that was the the purple one. Also really like that one. Um, that was Art Pro resin. I'm thinking the Art Pro is my favourite. I just need to work out how to get those little tiny petals again. So yeah, that's my favourite so far. No it wasn't. No it wasn't. No it wasn't. It wasn't. It was Let's Resin. Let's Resin. Um, it's much thicker. That's resin. Yes. All right. I was right on the back what they are so that I can remember. All right. Thank you so much for watching. And uh, hopefully I'll see you all again real soon. We'll change up some colors. Um, I might do some greens. I might do some green shades. All right. Take care. I'll see you real soon for the next video. Bye for now.